The ocean depths, mysterious, alluring, deadly. They hold secrets and stories untold, drawing in those who seek to uncover the unknown. In June 2023, the Titan Submersible, a vessel designed to ferry adventurers to the Titanic's watery grave, embarked on a journey. This mission was not just a dive, it was a voyage into history, a chance to touch the past, its destination history, its fate tragedy. The Titan was meant to bridge the gap between the present and the past, but it became a somber chapter in maritime lore. The submersible, carrying five souls, vanished beneath the waves, triggering a frantic search and capturing the world's attention. Families and friends waited in agony, hoping for a miracle. Hope dwindled with each passing hour. The clock was ticking, and the ocean's vastness seemed to swallow every effort to find them. Then came the grim discovery debris, scattered on the ocean floor. The remnants of the Titan told a story of sudden and catastrophic failure. The Titan had imploded, a catastrophic failure claiming the lives of all on board. The ocean, once a place of wonder, had turned into a graveyard. Questions lingered in the wreckage. Investigators pored over the remains, seeking answers to what went wrong. Was this a tragic accident, an unavoidable risk of exploring the deep? The perils of the ocean are well known, but this incident raised new concerns. Or was it, as some whispered, an avoidable disaster a consequence of negligence and misplaced priorities? The debate over safety and responsibility in deep-sea exploration continues, casting a shadow over future endeavors. David Lockridge, a former OceanGate employee, watched the news of the Titan's fate with a heavy heart. He knew the vessel. He knew the risks. He had warned OceanGate. Lockridge, a seasoned engineer, had raised concerns about the Titan's safety during his time at the company. His reports were detailed, his warnings stark. The Titan's experimental design, the untested materials, the lack of rigorous safety protocols, all pointed to a potential catastrophe. But his concerns, he claimed, were ignored, brushed aside by a company seemingly more focused on deadlines and profits than the safety of its passengers and crew. Speaking truth to power often comes at a cost. It is a path fraught with peril and uncertainty, where the stakes are high and the consequences can be severe. For Lockridge, the price was high. He found himself in a lonely battle, isolated and under immense pressure. His warnings about the Titan were met with resistance, then retaliation. The more he tried to raise awareness, the more pushback he received. He was fired from OceanGate, his reputation attacked. The company sought to discredit him, painting him as a troublemaker, rather than a concerned professional. He fought back, filing a lawsuit alleging wrongful termination, claiming he was punished for raising legitimate safety concerns. The legal documents detailed his struggle and the risks he had highlighted. The legal battle was bitter, a clash of David and Goliath. It was a fight not just for his own vindication, but for the safety of others. Lockridge, a man of principle, found himself facing a company with deep pockets and a powerful legal team. The odds were stacked against him, but he remained resolute. The case was eventually settled out of court, but the scars remained. The settlement brought some closure, but the emotional and professional toll was significant. Lockridge's story, a cautionary tale of whistleblowing, raised troubling questions about corporate responsibility and the weight of profit against human life. It serves as a stark reminder of the challenges faced by those who dare to speak out. The Titan's implosion claimed five lives, each a universe of its own, these individuals from different walks of life were united by a shared passion for exploration and discovery. Stockton Rush, OceanGate's CEO, was a man driven by a passion for exploration, a modern-day adventurer who believed deeply in pushing the boundaries of human endeavor. His enthusiasm for the unknown was infectious, inspiring many to look beyond the horizon. His vision fueled the Titan project, but his risk tolerance, some argued, may have blinded him to the dangers. Despite the warnings and concerns, he remained steadfast in his belief that innovation required bold steps. Shahzada Dawood, a Pakistani-British businessman, and his son Sulman, a university student, shared a fascination with the Titanic. Their bond was strengthened by their mutual curiosity and love for history. Their journey to its resting place was meant to be a celebration of their shared curiosity, a once-in-a-lifetime experience. It was a dream they had nurtured together a testament to their adventurous spirits. Paul-Henri Narjolet, a renowned French diver and Titanic expert, was a veteran of countless deep-sea expeditions. His life's work was dedicated to uncovering the secrets of the ocean's depths, 
His knowledge of the wreck was unparalleled, his passion for its history infectious. He had spent years studying the Titanic, bringing its story to life for countless people around the world. Hamish Harding, a British businessman and adventurer, held several world records for exploration. His achievements were a testament to his relentless pursuit of the extraordinary. He lived for the thrill of discovery, the challenge of pushing human limits. His adventures took him to the farthest corners of the earth, always seeking the next great challenge. Five lives, each unique, each with its own dreams and aspirations, lost in the unforgiving depths. Their stories remind us of the human spirit's unyielding quest for knowledge and adventure. Their deaths served as a stark reminder of the fragility of human life and the immense power of the ocean. The sea, with all its beauty and mystery, remains a force beyond our control, demanding respect and caution from those who dare to explore its depths. The grief of losing a loved one is compounded by the agony of unanswered questions. For the family of Paul Henry Narjolet, the pain of his loss was intertwined with a burning need for accountability. They filed a lawsuit against Oceangate, alleging negligence and wrongful death. Their suit claimed that Nargiolet, a seasoned explorer, would never have boarded the Titan had he known the true extent of the risks. The lawsuit sought not only financial compensation, but also answers, a quest for truth and justice in the face of tragedy. Their fight, a testament to a father and grandfather's memory, aimed to hold those responsible accountable and prevent similar tragedies from occurring in the future. The implosion of the Titan sent shockwaves through the deep sea exploration community and beyond. Oceangate, once a symbol of innovation and daring, retreated into silence. The company suspended all operations, its website went dark, its public statements became rare and guarded. The weight of the tragedy, the legal battles, the scrutiny of the public eye, all took their toll. The company's future remained uncertain, its legacy forever intertwined with the Titan disaster. The silence, deafening and heavy, spoke volumes about the scale of the tragedy and the long road to understanding and accountability that lay ahead. The investigation into the Titan's implosion was meticulous and complex. Salvage teams worked tirelessly to recover debris from the ocean floor, painstakingly piecing together the fragments of the shattered vessel. Engineers, marine experts, and investigators poured over every piece of wreckage, every sensor reading, every line of code, searching for clues. The goal to understand what went wrong, to determine the cause of the catastrophic failure. Was it a design flaw, a material weakness, a human error? The answers, buried within the mangled remains of the Titan, held the key to preventing similar tragedies and ensuring the safety of future deep-sea exploration. The Titan tragedy served as a stark reminder of the immense power of the ocean and the unforgiving nature of deep-sea exploration. The depths, while alluring and mysterious, are also incredibly hostile to human life. Pressure, darkness, cold, and isolation. These are the constant companions of those who dare to venture into the abyss. The Titan implosion highlighted the delicate balance between innovation and safety, between pushing boundaries and respecting the limits of human ingenuity. In the wake of the tragedy, voices rose from within the deep sea exploration community and beyond, calling for change. Stricter regulations, more rigorous safety protocols, independent oversight, these were just some of the demands. The industry, long accustomed to operating in a regulatory gray area, faced a reckoning. The Titan disaster exposed the gaps in safety measures, the lack of standardized protocols, and the need for greater accountability. The human thirst for knowledge, for exploration, for pushing the boundaries of what's possible is unlikely to be quenched by tragedy. But the Titan disaster served as a turning point, a moment for reflection and reevaluation. The future of deep sea exploration, while still full of promise and potential, now carried the weight of responsibility, a heightened awareness of the risks involved and the importance of mitigating them. The Titan submersible, now resting on the ocean floor alongside the wreck of the Titanic it was built to explore, stands as a silent monument to the human cost of ambition and the enduring power of the sea. The tragedy, etched in memory, serves as a constant reminder of the importance of safety, accountability, 
and the need to balance the pursuit of knowledge with the preservation of human life. The lessons learned from the Titan's implosion will continue to shape the future of deep sea exploration, a testament to the enduring legacy of those who perished in pursuit of understanding the mystery.